And another aspect that I love in the franchise is that uh, I think that Scream always teaches us that you have that it's hard to trust somebody, you know, because you have to take that risk because um, you don't have to trust nobody. But at the same time, if you want to survive, you have to trust someone. So how do you deal with this aspect? Uh, are you a person that trusts uh, immediately or, or you are more hesitating? Because I'm really bad. I trust everyone. I always get, you know, bad situations and stuff like that. What what it's like for you? So very, I trust a lot of people. I, I choose to believe that there's good in people. And so... I sometimes is is over trusting a word, but I but I do feel like I go around just believing and trusting people because if you think about it, you have to trust to leave your house in the morning. Like if if you walk out the door, you're trusting that like no one's gonna run you over with their car. You're trusting when you get on an Uber that the person is good to like take you wherever you're going. You know, like it's all of these like little things that we don't even think about, but we're actually like trusting the good in people that like that they that each person can like live their life and I don't, know. I don't trust anyone when I drive. I'm the most paranoid really? driver that I know. Yeah, I don't trust people ever. And if I do, that's like a real honor. Like that is something that I feel like in I think it's only, I mean, to uh, to a default, because I feel like you do, yeah, you do have to trust people and sometimes building your wall too high can be yeah. difficult. But uh, yeah, I have, I don't know what it is. I just feel like maybe it's a control thing. Maybe it's that independent thing. I just feel like, mm, no, it's fine. I don't have to we could keep our relationship like this and it'll, it'll be fine. I, unless I really connect with someone, I'm, I'm good deals about how we deal with our own dark side. So what have you learned in this sense from portraying this character? Have you learned something that you can apply in your regular life? Well, in, in some ways, I mean, what makes Scream 6 the most horrifying, I think, is how true the uh, the emotions are in the characters. So you ask a very deep question because each of the characters' storylines, including new characters, um, and returning characters are, are really tied into a central, uh, you know, like all horror movies, it really has to do with loss or um, fear. And, and uh, you know, um, and uh, th this movie really taps into that for each of the characters. So the assignment as an actor is to come in and play these true moments. The assignment of the filmmakers and the, the guy that writes the scary music mm -hmm. is, to, is to scare the crap out of him. Um, so all of that combines to do it with great intensity. Yeah in this uh, version i think it teaches you who who you are at your core you know whether you are fight flight freeze you know hide um and what 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 you become if backed into a corner it's like especially in a big city like new york city you have to have community you have to have people you can lean on that you can call to get you through either you know a hard day or someone attacking you with a big knife mm. um and i think that there is a good message about that and um and how like normalized violence can be in a lot of like you know different areas whether it be a city or just a, traditionally a smaller town like how people respond to it and in this movie it just happens to be that they either ignore it or <laughs> become victim to it but um i think it it I think the movie is smart to touch on how uh, public displays of violence kind of affect not just our psyche, but, but an entire community, yeah. an entire city. Really, truly. It's huge. It's, it's a huge part of the kind of the engine of the whodunit. It's also a huge part of the characters and how they grow. And, you know, I think one of the things that's really fun that we explored a little bit in Scream 5 and a lot in this one is like, can Sam trust herself? You know, it's like trusting the people around you and then also who you are as a person. Again, like your original question, it, it's it's that whole thing of who can I trust? How can I be vulnerable? How does that affect me positively or negatively? And it, it, yeah, we really got to explore that in this movie, which it, it's cool you're picking up on it because it, it was a lot of fun for us. 